So I think I just found the craziest AI blogging prompts that you can use with ChatGPT, Claude, or even Gemini. I'm gonna show you what I'm currently using in order to help me with my content creation, YouTube, and my blogging process. So let's jump in and get started. All right, so the first prompt that we're gonna look at is gonna be really unique to anyone who's doing product reviews, e-commerce, or just a blogger. And this one's gonna be creating product descriptions based on an image, and then we can use that with AI. So I use a tool called Awesome Screenshot. It's completely free, and it allows you to grab the entire page, a selected area, or just whatever is on screen. So let's go ahead and make a copy. We're gonna download this entire image here. Then we're gonna go into Claude. And again, this also works with ChatGPT or any other tool that can pick up image recognition. So let's go ahead and grab the image. We're gonna drag it in here. And then we're gonna go in and grab the prompt that I'm using. And again, you guys can grab all these prompts completely for free in the description. So let's go ahead and add the prompt here. And this is gonna say, give me a detailed product description based on the title. Make sure to include impacts and features instead of just features alone. I'm also gonna say, give it a reading level of easy. And then also we can add any personal details, whether you use the product or not, or if you read some reviews, you can add some personal touch to that as well. Let's go back into Amazon, grab the title. You're gonna put that into the brackets. Okay, and then if you wanna add any personal details, we can do that here. I'm just gonna say, this product helped me remove some stains near my couch. Okay, so it gave us a product description. Again, you guys can tweak this. Uh, I normally don't recommend that you grab the output that it gave you and just publish it on your website or use this for like a video script. You really wanna add in extra personal information in here or just edit the content and double check that it's all correct and factually correct. So it gave us a really good product description and then it gave us the benefits instead of the features. So it says, leaves your home feeling clean and smelling wonderfully fresh saves you time and effort with this efficiency cleaning power it gives you peace of mind with this environmentally friendly non-toxic formula overall i think it gave us a really good uh, product overview and the benefits so if anyone is in the e-commerce space or you're doing product reviews and you're kind of like stumped or stuck when it comes to writing these product descriptions you can use this prompt for all of these reviews and again just make sure that you tweak it edit it and add in any more personal information that you can. So our next prompt is for those who struggle with keyword research, whether it's for your YouTube channel, your blog, or even short form content. So this one's gonna give us semantically related topics and it's gonna give us around 40 to 50 unique variations that we can create content around. So let's go ahead and use that prompt and put that into our AI. So this is the keyword research prompt that we're using. It's gonna say, give me 40 semantically relevant, but unique topics under the main category of XYZ. And for each, give me 15 different variations of that topic. Then it's gonna go ahead and create a table format. I got this from another uh, blogger and YouTuber called Wes. I'll put him in the description below but this is gonna give us amazing ideas because every single thing that is providing us is going to be unique and it's gonna have its own search intent. So this means that we're not gonna create the same information over and over again. This is gonna be unique topics alone. So let's go ahead and use this for as an example. I'm gonna say credit repair. So on top of that, I also want to turn those into how-to statements and best of roundups. So this is gonna give us like how to fix your credit, how to improve your credit report and give us other transactional intent ideas so we can make money, we can create really authoritative content and it's given us a lot of good information here. So just alone from improving credit score as a topic, we have best ways to boost credit, tips for raising your credit rating, how to improve your credit score, uh, proven tactics to improve credit worthiness. All of these things alone can be amazing ways to uh, just enhance our content. And we can create very authoritative information on YouTube or TikTok, short form, whatever it is. So here it's given us even more information. So those are just some examples of creating how to statements and best of roundups. Then it gave us some transactional ideas such as best credit monitoring services, best budgeting apps, best books on fixing your finances. Use this prompt here to go ahead and create ideas for your niche. And you can continue to do this over and over again. So you can, instead of just having 40 ideas, you can have 150, 200 topics to write about. All right, so our next prompt is the, for those who want to humanize their content and tired of getting AI output, such as more over digital world, uh, additionally and 
how things are so crucial. So this prompt is going to help you humanize your content while still keeping a proper flow. And you can even include keywords while still maintaining uh, a non-robotic output. So this one's from Matt Diggity and also Charles Float. So I want to make sure that I give those their recognition and I'll leave them in the description below. But I wanted to combine their prompts together to humanize my content. So I have an example here that I created a 1200 word blog post just with proper SEO headings on how to drive a car when it's raining. Overall, I mean, Claude alone doesn't really have that much AI uh, or robotic sounding sentences, but there's still a few things in here. Uh, but for example, I just want to give you uh, this prompt and see how it can improve the entire article. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the prompt here. It's pretty long, but again, you guys can grab the Google Doc. It's going to say humanize my content. Help me humanize my SEO content while still keeping the meshes the same for each section. I'll be giving you a list of banned words. So this is what I got from Charles Float. It's a bunch of random words. Don't re don't re <laughs> don't include AI repeated words as well. Uh, you're forbidden to use complex English and then also keep the paragraph short while keeping the sentences shorter. And you can even include a list of exact keywords to include so we can enter those there. So let's see how well it does by humanizing our content. So it's already done so much better. So even the first intro is driving in the rain can be tough and scary, especially if it's raining hard. But don't worry, with the right tips and techniques, you can stay safe on wet roads. The original was driving in the rain can be challenging and potentially dangerous experience for many drivers. However, with the right knowledge and techniques, you can navigate wet roads with confidence and safety. In this blog post, I'll discuss essential tips on how to drive a car when it's raining. So this is like a little bit of too much fluff. It doesn't sound good and it's kind of too long for me, especially for the intro, right? So overall, this AI did such a great job in making the intro sound just straightforward and really simple. And even the sec sections here are straightforward. And I love how, how easy it is to read. The paragraphs are short. It has numbered lists, bullet points. And overall, it's it's just a very clean article. So you can do this section by section in your articles. And you can also just rewrite articles that you've already written and humanize those articles, uh, just especially because like with Google and how, how things are affecting our industry with AI, uh, you really want to try to keep that personalization in there. Try to use this prompt to help you with your outputs. If you use AI very heavily before, then go back to your old articles and use this content prompt, humanize everything. All right, so our next prompt is for those who struggle with FAQs and can never seem to get the perfect questions to include in their articles. So with this prompt, it's really simple. We're gonna ask to write the perfect FAQs. You can use Gemini or Claude. Um, some people like to use Google Gemini for this process because it has the most updated information. But personally, I think that Claude just has the best output. So you can go ahead and enter this prompt here. It's gonna create a list of five frequently asked questions and answers under 350 characters. Then you can put the title in here. So we're just gonna use the example of my old post of driving in a car during rainy season. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the title where the brackets are. There's gonna be two spots and let's see how well it does. Cool, so it's given us some pretty good information right now. First FAQ is, what should I check on my car before driving in the rain? That is actually a really good question to ask yourself before you jump in your car. And it says, before driving in the rain, check your windshield wipers, lights, tire tread, pressure, and make sure your windows and mirrors are clean. <laughs> That's literally perfect. That alone could be perfect for featured snippets or even get picked up by SGE. And then another one would be, what should I do if I encounter standing water on the road? Uh, so this is relating to hydroplaning and that is and it's even giving us the keyword so we understand what that means. So it says, if you see standing water, reduce your speed and avoid driving through large puddles if possible. If you do hydroplane, gently ease off the accelerator and steer straight until your tires regain traction. Guys, I think that is literally perfect when it comes to FAQs. Um, so use this if you're struggling to find frequently asked questions that you can include in your articles or even uh, your videos. All right, so the next prompt is for lazy people like me who don't wanna fully write a newsletter or a Twitter thread uh, day by day. Uh, this is for anyone who wants to repurpose their content the right way. This prompt is gonna help you repurpose your articles or even your YouTube videos by grabbing the transcript. Let's jump in and show you what that looks like. So we're gonna keep using this example of driving a car in the rain. So this prompt is insanely powerful. I've been testing it and it works great. So this one says, help me write a newsletter from my blog post in the same style as creators like Justin Welsh and Dan Coe. 
My target audience is new car drivers. Age is 18 to 60. Reading level, basic, types of content style, actionable. And then again, use short paragraphs and short sentences, avoid fancy jargon. And then this is the blog post. You can either add it in here, or since we already have it, we can just tell it to read the above. So let's go ahead and see how well it does for us. Cool. So it did a pretty good job. So it says essential tips for driving safely in the rain. Hey there, new driver. Driving in the rain can be intimidating, but with the right knowledge and techniques, you can navigate wet roads with confidence. In my latest blog post, I share essential tips to help you stay behind the wheel safe. Here's a quick rundown of what we're talked about. Um, so if you want to dive deeper, you can check the full blog post. Remember, a little preparation can go a long way. Um, and then it has a little PS in there. So I think it looks great. And you can continue adding on to this. So you could even say things such as help me you know, improve my subject line, make it more curiosity based, help me kind of add more details in here for this article or for the newsletter. So overall, I mean, this is a great way to kind of establish yourself and push your email audience over to your article or your YouTube video. So if you've been struggling writing your newsletters and uh, other types of information, you can also use this prompt to do all of that. And you can change the you know, the creator. So I said, write this article as Justin Welsh or Dan Co. But if you're in a completely different niche that just doesn't really align with those creators, you can do it as yourself, give prompts that have your own voice, brand voice in there. So just try to do that. But overall, this is a really good prompt for repurpose. So this next prompt is for anyone who's really struggling creating more commercial based introductions for their articles or for their YouTube videos, meaning that you want to hook in a person and get them to continue watching your video or your article. This prompt is going to be very powerful. So for this prompt here, it's going to say write a blog post paragraph using the ADA and personal experience framework. You're going to generate a blog post introduction using the ADA framework and then keep the intro less than 100 words. After that, add this in for personal experience. So I'm going to go ahead and use the reigning a car driving uh, example here. I'm going to go ahead and for personal experience say, I have been in a accident before because of heavy rain. Now I help people drive safer on the roads. Cool. So let's see what it does here with this uh, new introduction. All right. So it's giving us the attention part, which says, picture this, you're driving along a rainy day when suddenly your car starts to skid, your heart races as you struggle to regain control. Then the interest part, as someone who has experienced terrifying accident caused by heavy rain, I know firsthand how quickly things can take a turn for the worst on wet roads. Um, that gives us the uh, desire. What if I told you that you could dramatically reduce your risk of rain related crashes? Then it gives us the, the action. Keep reading to discover the essential tips that could save your life the next time you're caught in a downpour. This could also be translated over to your videos so you can use this exact intro as your hook for your YouTube videos or short form content. Then it also includes that personal experience that I wanted it to add. So it says I have been in an accident before because of heavy rain. It was a terrible experience that left me shaken and determined to find ways to prevent other drivers from this happening. So overall, if you want to use the ADA framework, you can do that. And this prompt will help you update or improve your introductions. All right, so our next prompt is going to be for those who want to get higher open rates, whether you're doing link building, trying to hop on a podcast or just do a sponsorship deal. This prompt is going to be super powerful to build a connection and also to get them open the email. For example, I'm going to be using this one by sending it to my boss, Adam Enfroy, and see how well the email works. So the prompt that we're looking at is cold email for link building. Act as a cold email expert who can get high open rates. Write a shocking subject line in a humorous cold email. Include the details about my boss. Then I'm going to say the guest post idea is for XYZ. So you've done your research. Cut out the fluff and mention how much you love and then add in a personal detail that you found about them, whether it was on Twitter, LinkedIn, or on their social media. Just try to add in some personal information. So you can, they know that you put in the effort to learn more about them. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. So I went in and added in the information into those brackets and it's going to give us an amazing subject line with a cold email outreach. So I'm already laughing because it's, it's pretty funny, but the subject line is your dogs told me to contact you guest post inside. 
Um, hey Adam, I know this email is out of the blue, but I couldn't resist reaching out after I saw those adorable pictures of your two dogs on your website or Instagram page. As a fellow dog owner, I just had to say hi. Now I promise I'm not here to gush out about our furry friends, although I totally could. I'm actually writing because I have a guest post idea that would be perfect for Adam and for .com. The topic, how to write blog posts faster. Because let's face it, we all wanna spend less time writing and playing more with our pups. I've got some serious actionable tips and tricks that are up my sleeve and that I know your audience will love. So what do you say? Can I send over a draft for you to check out? I promise it'll be so good, even your dogs will be impressed. Looking forward to your response. P.S. Give your dogs an extra belly rub, will ya? I'm sorry, but I'm, as a blogging coach for over 3,000 plus students, this email is probably one of the best emails I've seen. And I think that this would benefit a lot of us. You can tweak the, 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 the prompt to make it sound even more like yourself or just add in some other details in here to get this person or the brand or the company to work with you and open that email. This will make or break your entire business when it comes to outreach. I hope you guys really enjoyed this prompt, but um, this one is really powerful. All right, everyone. So that kind of sums up all of the craziest AI prompts that I have found recently because of other YouTubers or creators and other bloggers. If you guys like to learn more about these type of things, I'm always, always open to your questions in the comments. I reply to every single comment right now. Um, so if you guys have any type of videos you want me to create, I'll be more than happy to do that. If you guys wanna learn more about how to use AI for YouTube or how to use AI to find trends, you can watch these two videos next. So I'll see you guys on those over there.